project that very much mirrors what they'll have to do next year and the year after and all the way through the end of medical school, right? <laughs> and I wanted to add to uh, the work that we've done with our capstone project over the past three years. Uh, we were actually invited to a capstone consortium and we were the only middle school that did a capstone project and actually a lot of high schools looked at the program that we formed um, as, as a basis for theirs. So we were extra proud um, and it is a full team effort with not only the middle school team but a lot of auxiliary teachers also get involved as advisors for the students and uh, even Mr. Orr is an advisor, a capstone advisor this year. So it really is a community project and our graduates that have done it the last two years have really reported back all of the useful skills that they learned from doing this project. It's kind of stressful and difficult when you're in the middle of it, but once you get out the other side, you really see all that, um, that, they, that they learned from it. So we'll start with Jim and Each year, the eighth grade class participates in an interdisciplinary long-term capstone project. We are asked to identify a global problem based on five pillars of human rights. Education, agriculture, clean water and sanitation, health, alternate income, and livelihood. We have begun to conduct extensive research, and then we will look to discover a way to articulate solutions for that problem by a creative product and presentation to the community. In April, members of the class will travel to Ecuador for a 10-day trip to further deepen our understanding of the problems that face the developing world. We will now give a brief synopsis of our project and what we hope to accomplish. Right, so for my capstone project, I'm focusing on short-term and long-term effects on sea animals and plants in the fluid areas of the ocean. It's connected to the clean water and sanitation pillar. And I've learned a lot about what happens to the fish and what I hope to do is to prevent more trash going into these areas. And my favorite part of Capstone that I'm like, probably looking forward to would be presenting it to the school. In my Capstone, I'm focusing on chemical water pollution in China and the causes of this, and then also the effects on the people and the environment, and how I can prevent factories from disposing of chemicals and waste into large bodies of water in China. For my project, I'm focusing on gang members in South Central Los Angeles and how their success later in life is being affected negatively. And this falls into the education and alternate income pillars. I'm focusing on the human rights in Qatar when immigrant uh, people go there to work on the World Cup. Um, they're being race, racially um, abused. Um, it focuses on all five pillars um, of human rights. My project is on postnatal depression for women living in poor conditions. Um, I learned about postnatal depression as a whole and also learned about how depression affects women in two different perspectives. Uh, it falls under the health pillar and I hope to find different ways of treatment. My capstone project is on access to primary education in Equatorial Guinea. This falls under the education pillar. Ecuadorial Guinea is a, small, is a tiny country on the coast of Africa. I look forward to um, coming up with a unique caps action piece to help show ways to solve this problem. I am addressing the problem of no healthcare access in countries of war, and I'm focusing on Syria. My topic is connected to the health pillar. The skills I have learned are organizing information and how to be proactive. For my action piece, I might raise money for the organization Doctors Without Borders, which helps people in countries of conflict. I'm looking forward to the action piece because I will be able to do something that impacts the lives of Syrians who are going through hard times. For my capstone, I'm focusing on how to support infrastructure in poor countries before an earthquake so that the effects aren't so devastating like in Haiti. 
And for my action piece, I want to raise awareness about this problem. And I'm really looking forward to trying to come up with a unique way for, to do my action piece. And my problem is connected to the pillar of health because it involves people's safety. My project is about education in America and how some children are getting a better education than others. My uh, project is connected to the pillar of education. And for my action piece, I hope to raise money to donate technologies, books, and money to the schools in need. And I look forward to seeing the change that I make firsthand. Um, Capstone is a year-long project that will prepare me for high school from the process. My Capstone project is about kids in Peru that are unable to have access to education. There are many schools and earthquakes in Peru. Most schools are destroyed from the earthquakes from the use of adobe. I've learned many ways to rent schools from the classroom. <coughs> my, capstone is, my Capstone project is about the lack of water and resources in Congo. The pillar that my project is connected to is the clean water pillar, and the part I'm most looking forward to is when we present and the actual piece. All right, let's give him a hand. <laughs>